Hello guys, Luna here. Welcome back to another Fallout 4 console mod video where we're going over some of the essential mods to download for the game after the next gen update. I want to say a big thank you to all the new subscribers I've had on the channel and to say I'll be making some more Fallout 4 mod videos over the next little while. I was also hoping to see some Starfield mods make an appearance at some point soon, maybe with the next update. And there is only six weeks till Elden Ring DLC, so I'll be going over that as well. So those are the main things coming to the channel in the next little while. For today's video though, we have some quality of life improvement, the little mods that make a big improvement to your quality of life in game. There are literally hundreds of these mods, so I'm sure there are plenty you can think of, so leave your suggestions in the comments below. But also, I don't have every mod covered because I've been making themed videos, so things to do with settlements, the player, armors, weapons, etc. I haven't really made any videos for them yet, so I'm trying to avoid certain mods so we can put them in those videos. But we've still got plenty to go over in this one, so let's take a look. Custom Sanctuary Overhaul. This mod overhauls and repairs Sanctuary Hills, I know it's the apocalypse and everything, but having such a mess of a settlement is not really fun, so... With this mod, broken houses have been removed and replaced with pre-war player houses. This enables the player to enter each house and build within it as they see fit. Empty lots have been left empty for workshop compatibility for those who are downloading the mod with Sanctuary already built up using the workshop, so there is no need to worry about workshop items clipping with the mod. All the old fencing has been removed and fixed using the pre-war fence to give the rest of the pre-war sanctuary a beautiful look and clean white picket fences. Flowers and bushes have been placed around to give them a more homely feel. And of course, the bridge, the old wooden bridge, has been replaced with a more suitable bridge that can actually hold the weight of vehicles, giving sanctuary a more realistic look. Circle the Wagons Red Rocket. This is a fun little mod that makes the Red Rockets in-game more defensible positions and actually look lived in. They are essentially improved to look a lot more like tiny settlements or outposts. I really like this one and would use it in my own playthrough of the game to make the Red Rocket just that bit more better. Show Power Armor Compass Marker, a small mod that simply adds a compass marker on the compass to show the location of your power armor so you never lose it in the world. Simply head in the direction of the compass marker to find your power armor. Automatically Lower Weapons, a great quality of life mod that lowers your weapons on screen when you're in first person. Screen space is limited in the game and having as much extra visibility as possible is great, especially when exploring, and you don't need your gun taking up all the space on the screen all of the time, and this is definitely a mod that everyone should have. Quick Start Skip Intro Scenes Have you played Fallout 4 enough to have memorized the intro scene of the pre-war house, waiting for the salesman and then plodding through his dialogue, waiting for the newscaster to speak his lines, running to the vault, painstakingly walking to the doctor, following him into the pods and watching the sad scenes that follow with your wife and your son. Want to skip that and start in the cryopod where you can step right out into the commonwealth. Well with this mod you'll begin in the cryopod then make your way out of vault 111 and as you exit you'll be prompted to name your character, change your appearance and allocate special points. Once you've made your choices you'll then proceed the game as normally. Companion Infinite Ammo. One of the worst things to happen in Vanilla Fallout, and fortunately they changed this for Starfield, is companions have limited ammo. They can only use however much ammo they have in their inventories, and this mod changes it so they have infinite ammo of whatever gun type they are using. Weightless Junk. Exploring and picking up stuff while exploring is literally the biggest part of the game, and with that comes the dreaded over-encumbered message. Weightless junk allows you to pick up to your heart's content as junk no longer weighs anything and you can take all that to sell to any of the vendors for caps. Uncapped Settlement Surplus. 
In the vanilla game, farmers stop producing crops after plus 10, food is in your workbench, water pumps and purifiers stop pumping after plus 5, scavengers stop scrapping after 100 plus, Brahmin only produce up to 3 fertilizer per day in your settlement, even with more than 3 Brahmin, vendors only produce up to 50 caps per day per settlement, and this mod makes settlements continue to produce surplus, water, food, scrap, fertilizer and vendor caps, even if there is already a surplus in the workbench and it also disables the daily limit where applicable. Upper caps for max storage of water, food, scrap are configurable. Also includes a feature to reduce the frequency of settlement attacks, which increase as store surplus accumulates. Just for fun, there's also an option to increase attack frequency, either by removing the one week delay between attacks or forcing an attack on every settlement every day. And of course, this along with any of the other settings can be accessed in the configuration via the in-game holotape that's added with the mod. Amazing Follower Tweaks Fallout 4 Edition. This mod adds a bunch of things that will allow you to have more amazing followers. So we'll just go over each and every one of them. You can now have multiple followers. This feature allows you to have dog meat plus up to five additional followers. Essentially, you can make almost anyone in game, non-hostile, a follower now. Appearance Sculpting. You can change the appearance of human and ghoul followers using the same sculpting system used to create the player character. Additional custom appearance editing tools are available, allowing you to scale followers' size, changing their race, eyes, or add gender agnostic hair. Commentary controls. This feature allows you to manage commentary, filtering out negative or positive comments, and preventing followers from blurting out comments at once. Personality reshaping. You can disable or even flip followers' likes and dislikes. You can create multiple outfits for your followers, including standard combat, city, camp, swim, and home outfits. These outfits will automatically change as needed for different situations. Gear management. This feature enables you to tell the different followers to gather loose items from the surrounding area with a few button clicks. You can also quickly unload your gear onto followers by instructing them to take all of your junk or duplicate items. Additionally, followers can convert items into scrap or cats or give you any items they aren't using with a few button clicks when you enter a trading area. Follower locator, you can use the in-game menu to locate your followers with ease. You can pose followers and give them different animations. The mod includes camp support, so a mobile camp that you can activate while traveling from your home base, suitable for players who like to avoid fast travel and embrace a more immersive playstyle. Level up support, you can reassign special stats and see followers gain health, damage resistance, carry capacity and other tweaks. Combat AI tweaks, this feature allows you to assign combat styles so that the followers react according to desired archetype or dynamically change tactics based on proximity to enemies and weapon availability. You can tweak a whole bunch of other different settings, so you can give them no fall damage, you can have them receive no damage, sync weapon draw, follow mortality, catch up on weapon draw, sync power armor usage, and a whole lot more. You can instruct your NBC followers to clear settlements for you. You can instruct them to build prefabricated settlements for you as well. So if you don't feel like building in a settlement, your followers will do it for you. Plus there's a bunch of other things added with this mod, such as additional outfits for Nick Valentine, or there's a cool one where you can save your spouse. If you visit your spouse with Curie before the power in Vault 111 runs out, you can actually save your spouse. So it's a comprehensive and one of the best overhauls for your companions in game. Tales from the Commonwealth. This mod adds over 20 quests, 125 NPCs, and 3 quest and location aware companions. In total, there are over 12,000 new lines of dialogue, and basically this mod just makes the whole entire commonwealth feel more lived in with additional NPCs. IMVR Regions and Grid Default, an improved mod to make maps better and easier to read. The mod adds enhanced roads, train tracks and topography, distinct water lines, corrected placement of map markers, balanced brightness for the glowing sea, and includes Far Harbour, but does not require it. This is a different mod version than Improved Map and Visible Roads, which is the same mod, but just a different version of the mod, because Improved Map and Visible Roads was broken with the update, so make sure if you're installing this mod to search for IMVR Regions and Grid Default for the mod instead. 
Our final mod is called Loot Detector. It's a saving grace for having to have visual accuracy in not so accurate environments. If you want to find bodies, you've sniped faster. If you want to easily find containers or containers that have good versus not so good loot. If you don't want to miss keys, collectibles, legendary items while roaming around the wastes, then this mod will allow you to do that. Essentially, it's a mod that will help you find all of the good items and you can filter out things like junk items if you don't want to, or you can use it to send junk items that you pick up straight to a workshop of your choosing. And you can do things such as turn non-legendary armors and weapons straight into caps, or you can even auto loot things that are just around you while you are walking. So it's a mod that will help you to easier sort and collect loot while you're exploring in the wasteland. Guys, that is it for this video. Like I said, there are tons of quality of life mods you can add to the game. Let me know what your favorite ones are in the comments. Like and subscribe for more Fallout 4 videos, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.